we've all experienced fears about getting cheated on, girlfriend losing attraction, not being satisfied, things like this. And all these scenarios that we don't want to happen are mostly related to this one problem. In this video, I'm going to describe the trap that most men fall in over an extended period of time. It is a dichotomy that most men are unable to handle. And so over time, you risk that your partner starts looking elsewhere and might make a decision that'll hurt you. And of course, I'm going to tell you how you can be a man that's above it and truly separate yourself from the pack. So that you can be a man who doesn't resent himself and remains powerful even in a long-term relationship. Let's get into it. I'm happy you're here. If you keep doing what you're doing, great things are coming your way. And without wasting your time, let's get into it. The challenge that creates all these scenarios, all these problems that we face in relationships and in dating comes from our personal love dichotomy. It is the dichotomy between your love and your emotions that are often so strong that you feel for her versus your inherent logic. It is the gravity of her feminine comfort that pulls you in versus your innate need for discomfort so that you can keep growing. And if we give that up, we start resenting ourselves and we become resented by her. These overwhelming emotions that we feel for her these, and this overwhelming feminine comfort right, that pulls us in can be incredibly hard to navigate, but it remains imperative for our own happiness. And besides that, it remains imperative for her to continue trusting you, for her to remain attracted to you. Few examples, right? So in the beginning, when you met, she sees this masculine energy and this power, this confidence, because you're not yet attached to her. And so you have boundaries and you make them very clear. But over time, as you start falling in love with her, you're unable to continue defending your integrity, continue defending your boundaries with her. So you let things go and slowly give away the things you stand for. As a result, she loses respect. She loses trust and therefore she loses attraction. Because how can she feel safe if you are a man who is giving up the boundaries that you deemed so important in the beginning? The slide that over time continues and continues if you do not remain grounded in that integrity. Another common one is that you start putting her above your purpose. So you were killing it in your career. You were serving this world, you were doing great. And then slowly as you start falling in love with her and the gravity of her feminine comfort pulls you in, here and there you start donating some evenings where you would have liked to work to her, to watch a movie, to go out, to, to stay on the couch and cuddle in this warm safety that she provides. And again, how can she trust you if you are letting go of your purpose? How can she be in the passenger seat if you aren't driving the car anywhere? So these are two examples where one, you let your emotions overrule your logic and therefore give up your boundaries. You're not objective anymore. And secondly, you start putting her comfort over your innate need to face discomfort and go after your purpose in life. A real man remains solid in his integrity and will remain in control in spite of his deep emotions for her. The brain will convince you in the most realistic ways what if she cheats if i'm not all the time with her well great she just showed you you deserve better your brain will convince you what if she loses interest if i always put my purpose above her well good then she is not that feminine inspiration and support to your mission on this planet so you deserve better your brain will convince you but what if she leaves if i state a boundary well great then you just found out that this is still a girl who cannot handle a real man who is secure in his boundaries you will not align with girls so you will lose those you will align with women and so you will win those so in a sense displaying real masculinity filters out the women that you don't want in the first place and it is a gift if they show their true colors and besides that it is a deep attraction to the women that will be good for you because it is exactly those women who will respect that security that you remain unchanged even though you feel these emotions even though you feel this gravity towards her it doesn't mean that you cannot be loving it just means that you are able to balance them out as it should be 
The only thing that you should revisit when your brain tries to convince you is that this is the only way for you to be deeply fulfilled in love. You cannot let yourself go because you will resent yourself and you will lose her. So you need to accept and embrace this beautiful challenge of your personal love dichotomy. It's usually related to your own childhood, how intense you feel this attachment to her and so how much work you have to do to remain grounded in your integrity. But it is no question and no debate that you can give it up. So how do we walk this path? Three things that you need to be sure of. First of all, you need to be able to walk away, genuinely willing to walk away because you'll be just fine. You will still have your hands, you can feel them, you can breathe. Nothing really changes in the world. You'll just get to experience some very deep emotions and it will hurt, but even this will bring you your spiritual growth. But the other route, staying with her, if you should walk away, that's a path of suffering. That is unnecessary. The second way to face this love dichotomy is to continue seeking discomfort as a counterweight to her feminine gifts. So what I mean with this is, sure, it's fucking fine if you stay in with her. You simply have to understand that you have moved towards comfort. So if you have moved off your center line. And so what is necessary is you bringing yourself back to that center line. And how do we do that? Through discomfort, right? It is a skill where too much comfort will create brain fog, will make your energy, your motivation low. So you got to bite the bullet and get up early, go to the gym, take some martial arts classes, whatever your personal choices are in which you face discomfort in your life. Watching a movie, staying in, if that takes you off your center line, then get up a little earlier the morning after. Show yourself, show her and go directly to the gym by yourself, face some discomfort. And this is also not some magical story. This is all related to testosterone. Spending Spending time in her loving, warm arms and cuddling lowers your testosterone. And so that, that doesn't mean it is to be banished. It simply means you move off your center line. Now get back to it. And you should love that about your life. The first thing is to accept that this is the truth. That there is no life with only comfort. And the second step is to start loving the game. Start honoring the fact that you need to embrace resistance and discomfort. And thirdly, lastly, take a pen and a piece of paper and write down the absolute boundaries that you have. So after all this time walking around on this planet, maybe having had a few relationships and experiences with women, what do you know to be based in absolute truth and love are your boundaries? Are you okay with her having guy friends? Are you okay with her going to clubs? Are you okay with certain other behaviors? Every man is different and it is your task to create a clear list of the things that don't honor you. That if you would allow them, you couldn't give her all you are. That you would start resenting yourself and her for it. That is a boundary that's based in love. To know that you have so much to offer and say, I'm simply not okay with that. That's not the kind of relationship I want. And so if you clarify those boundaries for yourself, make them non-negotiable. Don't argue with yourself. Don't argue with her. Be willing to walk away if she truly doesn't respect them. That's fine. And you two weren't meant to go any further anyway. Take the short-term pain that comes with it, use it as growth, and move along. And as an extra one, that's always good to repeat. Your purpose can never be secondary to her. Your purpose needs to be on number one. If you truly have a masculine essence, then you can never, for yourself and for her, lose sight of your purpose. Your mission, your mission on this planet must always be your priority. And she is a beautiful addition, inspiration and support to that mission. It simply cannot get more attention than your purpose does. If you let that happen, she will lose trust. As you lose your direction, then a feminine woman will get anxious. A feminine woman will get uneasy. And that will create a lot of these problems and scenarios that we as men want to avoid. Thank you for watching the video all the way to the end. I hope you enjoyed the content and I hope it's going to help you achieve whatever goal you have within love, dating and relationships. If it isn't quite enough for you and you want to work together with me, I have a program called Masculine in Love where I help you connect to your raw, unique masculinity so that you can attract a woman who's on your side, who's devoted to you and simply inspires you to do better. There's nothing more powerful than that. And if that's something you truly desire, 
that you're having problems in your current relationship or problems in dating, then feel free to click on the link in the description. You can book a free call with me. We'll meet each other, connect. I'll already help you a little bit on your way and then you can see if this program is something for you. And for now, that's it, man. See you in the next one.